What's up guys, Techlips here and today I'm gonna try to solve a really really huge problem that existed in the iOS devices since probably the iOS 6 release. Well, this is about updating. As you know, if you have an update, a new update on your iPhone, it wastes so much space. It can waste from 800 megabytes to approximately 1.5 gigabytes. That's insane. Come on, like, if you have a 16 gigabyte iPhone, that's completely insane for you. But anyways, today I'm gonna show you guys how you can disable all of these updating automatic updates on your iPhone and have enough storage for yourself. So yeah guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so first of all, you're gonna want to do is just go ahead and go to Safari browser and now head out to this page, it's called appsfreeiphone.net and as always, links below, so don't worry about that. Next, you need to click on this menu and now select the iOS beta and now scroll down till you see remove auto update. So go ahead and click on this one and now that should bring you to this page. And now in a few seconds you can click on this blue button, it's called skip this ad and now there's a little redirection so go ahead and just uh, close this little tab. Alright, so just close it out and now go back and click on skip this ad once again. So now you're taken to this little profile, go ahead and click install, install, provide a password if it's needed and now click install and then click restart. Now our iPhone should be restarting and that's pretty much it, your update should be disabled and uh, yeah, I'm gonna just come back after this will restart my iPhone. And boom, the iPhone has just restarted and now we can go ahead and go to settings and then general and let's see if we have an update. So basically it's gonna be just checking for an update but it's never gonna give you a real update. And if you want to remove this little restriction of the updates, you can go ahead and go to settings. Uh, again, general, scroll down to you see profiles and device management or just profiles like I have. Let's just click on this little profile and click delete profile. So now if we go ahead and delete this one, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. And now if we go ahead and go back, uh, software update, that should be checking for a real update. Or maybe we need to restart the phone and it's gonna be good to go. Well, yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really gonna go ahead and reinstall this little profile because I don't want this phone to be updated. But anyways, guys, hope you found this video useful. Please give me a huge thumbs up if you do. And also, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And as always, guys, stay awesome and peace out.